I'm really excited to not only be on the last triangle of the left border, but for me, it's the last triangle of the entire border of the whole quilt. So this is super, super exciting to me. But anyway, this is we're going to work on LS13, and we're going to work directly from the book, and I numbered my pieces. What we have here is a background on this. So number 13 is this background piece, 6 is this background piece, and 1 is this tip, and they each have applique footballs on them and then we have bands between them so where it's just a straightforward kind of assembly from that standpoint i am going to applique my footballs onto the background before i put it together so this is my football for this one these two go here and this is the band so what i'm going to do for my basting, I'm going to baste the sides here and then the long sides so that my tags will be on the outside. For these, my, my uh, basting is going to start on the long ends here so that the tags can face the outer part of this band. These I'm going to try to, this will do, I'll do this part first and then work around. And the same things here, I'll just try to keep the tags into facing this background piece or the outside. And then there's this last band and then the tip is here with its football to go go on there. So I think what I'm going to do first is applique the footballs onto the background. I will base the background pieces and then base the footballs and get them placed properly and we shall go from there. So that's what I'll get started with now. So I basted my background pieces and my footballs and I've left them with each section that they're on. Now I've got to worry about placement. This I'm going to find the center point of this line and then draw a pencil line to the tip so that I can align it properly. And then I'll staple this on and then I can applique it. Same thing here, I'm actually going to find the center point of each one of these lines here and then put that on that location. For this one that's a little different, I'm going to find the center point and then place them equidistant from that point but it's a matter of being able to get them at a 90 degree angle here because this distance is less than that distance. So I'm going to see about how to make sure that they're at a 90 degree angle here. I might have to get out a, a straight edge or something like that. But I'll get to getting these in place so I can have them ready for applique. So I've got my football staple down. I found the center of this and I have a little very faint pencil line here to the point, so that's where that is. I found the center of each side of this and put that right on those marks. This one I found the center of both sides and then got one in the position that I wanted it and made sure that it was the same distance away from the each center point. That way I didn't have to worry about the other sides. And so then I then measured this way to see, make sure that this was spaced out just as much. So that at least it's even. It doesn't matter so much how far it is. It's just matter that it's the same distance. Each point is the same distance and then this is the same distance from the center as this one. So now I'm going to be able to uh, applique all of these down. Now that I've got these appliqued, I've taken out the basting and the staples. So now I'm going to work on assembly of my bands. I'll start with this one and my uh, tags will be going towards this way because this will be basted first and then these. And then for this, this will be basted last. So my tags will go away. So I'm gonna do these first and then this and the same thing here. So I'm gonna get this band put together. I've basted my pieces as I said I would and I've also sewn them together. So now I've got this band completed and I'm going to attach it to this applique section. So I've attached these two sections together and now I will get my tip attached so I've got everything consolidated. So I got the three sections of the tip assembled. Next is the next band which is this section here. So I will baste these like I did. I'm going to baste this first on each side here. This is going to be basted last and I'm going to do this little side, side piece first so that it's got the sharpest points. So I'll go around this way on this one and this way on this one. So I'll get these basted. So I've basted all my pieces. 
and now I will stitch them together. So I finished stitching together this particular band. So that is completed. So now I can put that on top of my tip assembly. So this piece is one piece of paper and this is multiple pieces with fabric between each seam connecting to an uncut piece of paper. So when you connect it, you want to make sure that you line this up and then attach, I've got this taped here, and then I line this up, but you're going to see some dimensionality. That's because this is actually bigger than this. So what you're going to do is you're going to start at one end and then tie off, go to the other end, so that way you make sure that your ends are connected, and then as you get to these things, you do an X stitch and pull it so that it minimizes that and then a lot of this the rest of this can get sucked up quite easily you just want to make sure that you keep an eye on it as you go so here these two sections are going to be your opportunities to make it smaller on this side of the seam and then you're going to do the same thing over here when you connect it to the other piece but I just wanted to show you that because it's not you didn't do anything wrong it's because the size of the pieces versus the uncut piece so I've attached the border to my number six piece, and this is where I am right now. And it's a little, still a little dimensional, but once the papers come out, it'll lay flat and be just fine. So the next section to attach would be this to the band that I just finished stitching on, and I'll do the same thing. So you can see that it's it's bigger, but I'll tape it here and then tape it there, and then force it together so that it looks nice. So I've attached the next section, and there was quite a bit of take up in here, so I actually had to double stitch as I went. I would stitch to the next section and then make another stitch there to reinforce it because of how much, how much extra stuff there was. But at, once the papers come out, it'll quilt out. So the next section will be this top band, and I'm going to baste it just like I did the other ones, and then stitch them together. So I got my pieces all basted, so now I will stitch them together into the band. So I got my band all sewn together, and so now I'm going to attach it to the top of my triangle. I've got the band attached to the top of my triangle, and my LS13 triangle has been completed. The last triangle of my left border has been completed and the last triangle of the quilt has been completed, so awesome! 